Hello everybody, um, just a short kind of example guide thing on RAM and how to, how I did it and how I saved lots and lots of space. Well not lots and lots but how I make it easy to use. Um, Alright, so this here, um, everything diamond and these two blocks here, they are, um, that is a D flip flop. Um, yeah, so basically how it works is it's got an input, um, an output, and a reset switch. So, um, all right, uh, at the moment I've got some currently inputted, so I'll reset it. Okay, here we go. So, um, it's quite simple really you when a signal gets put into the on um, input it um, triggers whatever happens in there I forgot what happens um, putting the output on so um, and even when you haven't got the torch there the output will stay on and will only change when um, you reset the actual RAM and yeah so you can add to it but you cannot subtract that's the only problem I'm having anyway so um oh subtracting is basically doing this which I'm about to show you. all right daytime um yeah so now you got your outputs and simply to reset it you just put a flick um put power onto the reset and it's gone back to normal so you've got your output you reset it it's gone um, yeah so that's basically in short how the RAM works basically now I'll just show you what I've done on quite a large scale which is these four giant blocks yeah as you can see, um, up here, or all right, I'll tell you, I'll show you the actual thing I just showed you first. All right, here we go. So um, this here is just what I showed you, and how I've implemented it is, I've got the um, data that. Uh, you want to save carried in from the bus which goes from here all the way back and it actually feeds straight off the output so um, you got you got the output coming off that and into um, a AND gate the AND gate um, will only allow the data to pass once it has been given this uh, power from the main switchboard that controls the memory back at, in the control room. Um, so once, so now that the it, this is reset now, back to its off state. As you can see, we have two, four, eight, and sixteen um, saved into this particular block block of RAM. Um, anyway, so um, once you got that, the, it allows it to save. So you can work on what you want to do. Then you can save it. Um, from that, it's actually all all the reset switches are connected all up to one main, uh, uh, connected all the way back at base to the button I showed you in another video, and this. So now the output it's it's always outputting, but it's not constantly dumping it into the um, memory bus or into the bus that takes it back to the CPU or G ALU. Um, so that this basically comes to another AND gate here, um, and as you can see, it is yeah currently I've not applied power to it, so it's not allowing the data to pass that is on the other side of this. So if you get up here, and this here is the top part of the AND gate, basically. Once this is flipped, it, the data will be streaming into the ALU 
Um, yeah. I'll get down here. Yeah, see, there's the buses going all the way back to the main unit. And also, um, it's quite. I had to think up a um, new way of getting all the data properly because since I'm using vertical stacks, um, vertically is a bit different than horizontally. So I thought up this idea with um, each feeding off the same thing. It's not working properly, or there are some issues with it in the way that you can't add two blocks of memory together. So what I'm planning on doing later in my next upgrade is um, completely remaking the CPU and how it gets its inputs. So um, you can select between two RAM blocks to dump it in. So the RAM will have an option to dump into channel one or channel two. But anyway, yeah, I'll update later. So yeah, the RAM comes down here and it is basically fed off its own bus into the CPU, which is just basically those, which are um, ripple carry adders, nice and compact ones as well. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So this is the wall. So you got the clear RAM, you got the um, load current RAM into the thing, but of course since I just cleared it, it won't work, do anything. So then, so we added four, eight, and uh, Wait, yeah, four, four, sixteen, and sixty-four. Is that right? Yeah. Where'd that? Oh no, it's out of one. Make it nice and pattern this. All right, so here we go. We write to slot. That should be written. So now we disable these and I'll enable these ones because we can and. We'll write that to slot 2. So now, I probably should make it closer together so that wall's all the way up here. Yeah, anyway, so slot 1. This RAM is very slow, by the way, as you can probably tell. Wait, is that working? No, it isn't. There we go. Slot 1 didn't write properly. Sometimes you have to wait for a quite a while for it to to do its thing. So anyway, there we go, we can add a 2 to it, which equals 4. But anyway, yep, that's my RAM. I'll update later when I get to um, both channel, uh, make it so you can add RAM with RAM, because at the moment it's just RAM with input. Anyway, yeah, goodbye.